Hello and welcome to Between Sets with Church. Thank you so much for joining us today. As we are downtown Barrier Donnelly's with Australia's country sensation, Andy Pankow. Welcome to the show, my friend. Thank you so much it for having so me. It is so good to have what you. What an introduction, thank you. Oh. <laughs> we only give the best here. Yeah. 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 yeah, for sure. This is kind of interesting. So yes. like a lot of our shows, we have local musicians, but you are Australian and yeah. uh, doing, the, doing the rounds through Canada. How's it yeah. been so far? It's been amazing. I feel like it's my second home now, to be honest. Nice. I've, I've, this is my second time over in Canada. We came over last year to, to do some work and do the album and, and bits and pieces. So now I feel like, you know, I'm getting accustomed to it all, which is great. It's been, awesome. it's been amazing, yeah. Awesome. So you, uh, back home, you actually did grow up on, on country music, from what I, I saw and, and uh, <laughs> read a little bit. Yes. And uh, there was also a bit of a... Uh, a connection to the Canadian scene as well that your yeah. family seemed to enjoy. Yeah. Shania Twain name came up, so I was curious. How, Shania. Yeah, was there um, was there a, a bit of a, a correlation with with Canadian country music before kind of the Australian uh, energy got to you, or was it kind of always had a bit of a Canadian vibe to your to your sound? I, I feel like I've I've grown up around all different styles of music, but um, the Canadian stuff is definitely prominent, and not just country, you know. Um, like lots of Alanis Morissette, I love okay. the 90s rock and nice. that, you know, um, Jagged Little Pill, that album is probably one of my favourite albums. I think she's probably one of the best songwriters that's walked the planet. I, I think she's awesome. Um, lots of Neil Young. Okay. You know, I listen to a lot of, lot of Neil Young. But my mum, my first kind of introduction to the, the realm of country and pop country and someone like Shania who really drove that vessel and made it, you know, opened up doors for people like Taylor Swift before she was a pop star, you know, True, to yeah. be able to, to be a country artist. And uh, we listened to a lot of Taylor, so, uh, a lot of um, Shania, which was great. So I feel I feel connected to, to the music here. So I think that's one of the reasons why um, I came over, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. What, what is the difference, or is there much of a difference between the Australian country scene and, and Canadian or Western world, if you want to call it that? Is there is a big difference in styles? I feel like there is very there's a lot of similar similar stuff okay. stuff happening i feel like you know especially with what's happening in canada us and australia i feel like the us is kind of the mothership isn't it and then everything kind of sits underneath that but we have some traditional stuff at home which you guys probably don't have as much it's more about songs of the land songs okay. of the australian bush and, and stuff like that which i was lucky enough to get nominated for a um country music award which is a cmwa golden guitar award which is equivalent to um a cma okay. in this country so you know and i've got that that nomination for a traditional song that i that i wrote and performed so i feel like i've got my fingers in a few little pies you know i love all different styles of country music but for me the most prominent thing is you know the stories australian i think australian country music really tells a story about you know growing up in in, the, in that country and, and in that environment so yeah, yeah. That's the prominent it, different okay so it, it caters more towards the homeland kind of a thing as a yeah as opposed to a generalized country here we you know they talk about certain objects or drinking subjects. And, and stuff yes, like that. Yeah. yeah but i feel like there's still a scene for that as well in australia there's a lot of up-and-coming artists that are, are really heading down that pop country realm or that um you know the, the rock country realm that which is yep. quite popular here yes. in canada so there's definitely parts of that but you know there's all different kind of kind of branches of, of the Australian country music scene, which is really exciting, you know, and I feel like that's probably the same here in Canada. Yeah. You know, country music isn't country music anymore. There's a diff, there's a thousand different styles of country music. And for me, I, I feel like my style of country music is bits and pieces that I've grabbed from artists like Shania and, and people even like, you know, Alice Mar Marset and, and people like that. I've just grabbed bits of their songs and bits of their style and put into a pot and mixed it around. And this is what we've come up with, I guess. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> nice. Three, two, one, zero, ignition, lift off, lift off. Friday and I'm scrolling, keep Thurban on Victrola, Oakleys and Coronas, not thinking about you. Then I came across your photo in Fendi and Manolo. Dancing in Barbados, I was somebody new. You're working hard at moving on. Well, I'm kicking it on my front lawn. You're white, hot, nice, and I'm a cool afternoon. Chasing disco lives while I'm waiting on the moon. We're under the same sun, but it's a different kind of free. Cause the shine's on. Shade, yeah, the 
shades on me You know I ain't stressed Ain't no second guess Knee deep in my best life Out here on my own Been working hard at moving on My living's easy Now that you're gone You're white hot nights And I'm a cool afternoon Shines on you, put the shade, yeah, the shades on me. I guess that's why it didn't work out. Just look at what we're doing right now. You want hot nights, and I'm a cool afternoon. Chasing disco lights while I'm waiting on the moon. We're under the same sun, but it's a different kind of feel. Cause the shine's on you and the shade, yeah, the shade. Yeah, you're white hot nights and I'm a cool afternoon. You're chasing disco lights while I'm waiting on the moon. We're under the same sun, but it's a different kind of feel. Cause the shine's on Shade, yeah, the shades on me. Shades on me. How has the response been so far? It's been really great, you know. Um, I feel it's always a tough challenge to come to a different country and, and um, have a different style of music and present it to people because not everyone's going to love what you do at the end of the day. So for me, it's been it's been a challenge, but it's also been a very rewarding rewarding challenge for me working with different artists, different producers, and stuff like that. But everyone's been super responsive. We've had some great um, responses response from radio and, and media, so it's been cool. So far. Well, that might answer my next question, but I was going to say, <laughs> why Canada of all places? Yeah, well, I feel like it's so similar to Australia. You know, being a Commonwealth. Being, being those kind of things. I feel like it's almost like being at home apart from the weather, which we discussed off air. <laughs> yeah, you know, <laughs> just a wee bit different. It's, it's actually snowing at the moment outside <laughs> and at home it's probably about 40 degrees. So it's, it's so different in that respect. But, you know, I feel, I feel like I've really started to get an, a nice fan base here too, which is great. And it takes that's a lot awesome. of time to build that up. And that's what, that's the most important thing for me is the, the fans, the people that listen to yeah. the music, because that's why we do it. That's right. You know, I feel like that's um, a huge um, thing for me. And Canada, everyone here has been so welcoming. So Good. It's been great, yeah. Yeah, awesome. I want to talk a little bit about your new CD that is out. Yes. Yes, here it Shades is. on Me. Yes. <laughs> Let's talk a little about that because you did something a little bit different because you have been here before, but you actually recorded this in yes. uh, Kitchener, Waterloo area. We yeah. did, yeah. Do you want to talk a little bit about the production behind that? And how did you come up with that concept to to record an, uh, an album away from the, the homeland. It's kind yeah. of a, a unique method. It was, it was definitely a unique method. I feel um, we, the album's been hanging around for about two years. It's been, you know, we've been working on it over a certain period of time. Um, we also wrote all the songs via Skype or Zoom with Canadian songwriters. So all the songs are co-written with, with someone that's based in Canada, which was really, really a lot of fun for me, working with, with those guys. We've, we had Sean Moore, um, you know, people like um, Jessica Soul, um, Matt Teed. We had um, Eli James, a whole bunch of great artists that we've worked with on this album. It was produced with Sean, who actually lives out of Kitchener. So he, okay. he's out at Waterloo. And we, he basically, all the production was done in his studio and it was tracked alive with the band and I came over last year to do all my vocals so we spent a couple of weeks in the studio and it was definitely a challenge because my accent is quite thick so we had to get around um, <laughs> you know making it feel a little bit more Canadian so it wasn't too offensive to the Canadian audiences straight away so it took a lot of a lot of work to <laughs> yeah get rid of that yeah that's that'd be interesting because like you said like the English language it's it's English but there's so yes. many different variations. And For so sure. how, did, how did you get over, was it the accent itself or was there actually certain terms that 
you, you figured the Canadian market just wouldn't quite understand or, or get the, the gist of it, I guess. <laughs> For sure. I know. We did a lot of research, obviously, before we, we put our time and money into this project because I'm an independent artist, so everything you know, goes back into it. So we did a lot of research with the radio and stuff like that to what's happening and what they're playing and all that kind of stuff. So going in knowing that we had to have a certain sound you know, but still tried to make it authentic to me. That was very challenging. But I feel like Sean Moore, who produced it, done such a great job doing that because we, he's very like particular about everything that, that we did. So we went over every single phrase, every single word, over and over and over. And it was, it was quite um, a long process. And for me, it was quite frustrating because... Yeah. Um, you know, because I, I, I thought I was, I was almost there, but I wasn't quite there. So we had to go back and do it again and do it again. But I'm so grateful that we did because we wouldn't have the product that we ended up with otherwise. So, yeah, it was a great learn, um, learning experience. And I feel like when I'm seeing you back home now, that accent pops up every now and again. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Just yeah. Just so trying to, like, dance between the two. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We're going to cut to uh, one of the title tracks um, from, from your songs. You want to maybe talk a little bit about uh, one of the tracks that you are uh, performing for us today. Yes, yes. So um, are we going to talk about the Bottom Shelf song? Yeah, yeah. Let, I'm sorry. I'd... Let's do that. Yeah, please. I feel this song is more of a bluesy song for the album. I wanted something bluesy on there because um, I love blues music as well. So I wanted to really represent something bluesy. And this was the song that did that. It was a co-write with Jessica Soul, who's a, another Canadian artist, and Sean, Sean Moore. Uh, it's a song basically um, about having a bad day, and it's a really a country context. Um, and coming to a, a pub similar to what we're filming in right now, and sitting down at the bar and kind of letting all your troubles disappear, because that's what you come to a place like this for. Yep. So that's the context of the song, and it's done really well back home. We we went to number one on a bunch of um, independent country music nice. charts, which is great. Um, so I feel really proud of it. I feel like it's a Nice little um, opening to the album, I think. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Actually, why don't we why don't I have a listen to it and uh, we'll Let's go from do there. That. When you don't know where to start, everything's falling apart. When you're trying to take off that edge Need something to go with that midnight cigarette You can mix it with heartbreak Or sip it straight to a lonesome song Pour it on the rocks Wherever you are, nothing else matters when you got your buzz on after a long day. This bar stool's got your name on it, so pull up a seat, blow off some steam. Bartender, serve up what ever burns chill it don't matter what hand you've been dead it's always gonna be bottom shelf Johnny Walker Black or your old friend Jack They don't have the best reputation But they'll always get you wasted You can mix it with heartbreak Or sip it straight to a lonesome song Pour it on the rocks wherever you your buzz on after a long day. This bar 
cross dues got your name on this so oh, pull up see blow off some steam bartenders serve up whatever burns cheap well, it don't matter what hand you've been dead there's always gonna be bottom shelf bottom shelf so we do on on this tour that you're doing obviously you're kind of minimalize us to taking a whole band and everything with you. Yeah. It's going to be a yes. one-man show. Is, is there, uh, do you prefer one over the other, the one man, or do you prefer the band thing? Obviously, you can't do the full thing here in, in Canada, but do you, do you miss it? Do you prefer the band thing over the solo, or do they kind of work it's, off it's each other to question. some degree? I feel like it's always a lot of fun when you've got a band around, you know? You, yeah, there's other chaps around. Uh, exactly. Yeah. We're all kind of like, you know, larrikins and... and you know, having a good time, but I also feel like there's definitely a different vibe. And I started as a solo artist, like I started playing to audiences in rooms like like these these pubs and stuff, you know, that's kind of where I started. So that's kind of home to me. Okay. But we brought the band on, you know, over a certain period of time just to get a bigger show and more of a, a captive show. Um, but I, you know, to be honest with you, I feel like I love, it's going to sound so strange, but I feel like I love them both equally. Okay. Because I get, I draw from being with a band, um, you know, a lot of things. I draw fun, I draw a different vibe. I draw, you know, the audience is going to get up and dance and have a great time. I know that's going to happen with a band. When I'm in a room with just my acoustic guitar, there's moments where there's just this kind of rawness to it and the connection between myself and whoever's in the audience, even if it's 20 people or 2,000 people, which I play back at home, I feel like if you can capture an audience with just yourself and acoustic guitar and nobody's talking and you can hear a pin drop, I feel like there's such a, um, there's something so beautiful. You have about. a connection. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. hard to kind of, and you kind of lose that a little bit with a band, I, yeah. I find. But, um, you know, we've toured at home with, with the band. We've had a lot of fun um, and got a lot more touring to do with, with the boys. Hopefully we can bring them over at some stage. Yeah, that, wouldn't that be awesome? Yeah. 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 That would be great. <laughs> sell to... a few albums before that time. But... Yeah. Well, well, there's something to look forward <laughs> exactly. to. You can p purchase it online if you want. Anything yeah, there we go. <laughs> band. Um, writing, obviously you have a lot of time, especially on, in Canada right now. You're traveling north soon. We are, yeah. Um, do, you, do you find that when you're on the road, do you get sort of stimulated uh, being in, in different places by, we talked about the environment of country with yeah. uh, relating to writing at home. Do yeah. you find being in Canada or anywhere else that you, your influence, whether it be the travels, whether it be nature, the roads, uh, life experiences, does it stimulate you in some ways to, to write when you're traveling? Yeah, for sure. As a, as a songwriter, there's always, um, it's always a good excuse to kind of sit down with a guitar and write a song when you're on the road. But being in a different country and experiencing a different lifestyle is definitely something that I've drawn on um, over the past couple of months. You know, even when I was here last time, I've, I've written a bunch of songs just being here. You know, just not necessarily songs that I may record, but things that I can use as a diary for my life and yep. look back on it and, and bits and pieces. We've also, I work with um, a bunch of artists since I've been here co-writing some new stuff. So um, that's always a lot of fun too. And also writing, a writing session for me can either be you're writing a song, you're trying to get a hit song or you're sitting down with, with some friends and it's like a therapy session. You know, you're all talking about your experience on that topic. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm constantly writing. Constantly, so I've probably got enough songs for another ten albums, to be honest. Yeah. Oh wow! Yeah, nice, <laughs> yeah. nice, nice. So, what what makes this album different than the previous three? It's I feel like it's a lot more contemporary than the stuff that I was doing before back home. Um, this is my fourth studio album, and it's actually my fifth studio album. Album I recorded an album many years ago, which sat on a shelf and I never didn't do anything with, um, and then we went into kind of more the country stuff. Um, but it's, it's definitely less traditional than what I was doing back at home. It's, okay. a little, it's more contemporary. I was doing more alternate stuff back home as well. I feel like it's got a different content as well, being 
written in Canada, Canada, written by Canadian artists as well. With, it's definitely a different feeling. Um, the it's a bigger sound for me. You know, I usually do a lot more stripped back stuff. Um, so it's it's hopefully the listener can, you know, go back and listen to the back catalogue and compare. You know, I think that's what it's all about, isn't it? For me? Was was it an intentional change? Do you think, or was it? pretty well pre-planned to, to do the album this way? Yeah. Did you perceive that a while ago before you came here? To I imagine it would take a lot of planning to do, especially at your producer's end, to, to pull it all together. Sure. I, I, we gave a lot of um, a lot of rope, I guess you could say, to, to Sean because I trusted everything he, that he does. So for me, there was no questions about you know the product because I knew we were going to get a good product, but it was more about just letting go of the creative side you know, when I go into a project at home, I'm really sitting at the front of it all, going, this is what I want, this is what I want it to sound like, these are the songs I'm producing, this is about this little town that I grew up in, you know what I mean? These, th those songs are so different to writing songs with other artists and picking brains and all that kind of stuff. So it's um, definitely been a different experience and I feel like it shows in the product too. I feel like we wanted to make something more contemporary. I wanted to make something a little bit more um, friendly to radio in Canada and across the world. Um, so that's what we did, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, I'm happy with it. So we've had a lot of success so far. So yeah, good, it's been great. good. How do you think the response will be back home once once this is all released and everything? Or have you had any feedback from it? Has anyone noticed yet the, the difference <laughs> in, in styles of what you were doing? Yeah, I think, you know, it's funny because I get a lot of my fans saying, don't leave us, come back, come back <laughs> to Australia. But, um, you know, I feel like for me, it's more about opening up creatively um, and, you know, I don't want to offend my fans either because you don't want to be doing, I don't want to be singing metal music, you know, or hardcore or something like that. It, you know, it's not my style, but I feel like it needs to be authentic to who I, who I am as a person, but still trying to, like, think outside the square a little bit um, and, you know, constantly reinvent what you're trying to do. And that's what I'm, that's the whole reason why I started doing this is just to challenge myself as an artist. Yeah. And um, that's why we came over and, and that's why we... Got, we've got the product that we ended up with. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, put heavy on me. Yes. Yeah. You yeah. want to talk a little bit about that? Let's do that. Yeah. yeah. That's one of my favorite songs. On well, the you know, yeah. I listened to it and the lyrics really, um, we talk a little bit on the show about anxiety and things like that, but that one really yep. hit home to me. Yeah. If you don't mind talking a little bit about that. Yeah, for sure. I feel like it's, it's about mental health. We went in with the idea of writing a song about mental health. Um, considering I've been through that myself, I've lived through a lot of anxiety in my life, and I thought it, I'd be, it'd be a great thing to be a vessel for a lot of people out there that may be struggling from it, and that's really the content of the song. Um, so hopefully anyone that's listening, um, hopefully can help them. For sure. Awesome. Well, thank you very, very much. Thank we greatly you so appreciate much for it. Me. We're going to cut to the last video and uh, all the best on the tour. Sounds good.
when you don't know where to start Everything is falling apart When you're trying to take off that edge Need something to go with that Midnight cigarette You can mix it with heartbreak Or sip it straight to a lonesome song Pour it on the rocks Wherever you are Nothing else matters when you got your buzz on after a long day This bar stool's got your name on it So pull up a seat 